Hello, I have this uh, beauty of uh, guitar. It's a Gibson Les Paul custom shop. It's a uh, 58 uh, reissue, R8 as they are called. Just look at this uh, magnificent color. It's, uh, I think it's so beautiful. Really nice. And the thing with the 58s is that they are known to have a, quite a full thickness on the, the neck here. Um, I don't really find this to be a problem with this guitar for me and I don't really have big hands. And I easily can grab over here with my thumb like this. You may notice it once you start playing one of these, but uh, to me I just adapt to it really quickly and uh, if I uh, compare it to my other Gibsons, yeah it's a bit fuller but it's either you adapt to it or you don't, I, I, I don't know. It's never been a problem for me at least. And I've learned that the frets are also uh, known to be a bit low profile on these uh, 58s. If you can see it here, it's uh, they are not like jumbos, they are quite low. Uh, they are not worn, they're just, this is how they come. But uh, that's also nothing that I really notice when I play. So the thing is with this Les Paul that I really find that I seldom pick it up to play it. And uh, I don't really understand why, but it's not the first guitar that I reach for. That would be my ES335 or my Strats, typically. Uh, even now these days I go for my uh, jazz box, the Ibanez GP200, you might have seen in my um, recent videos. So this guitar gets too little attention from me. And uh, I'm really thinking about uh, selling it. Maybe someone else will love it more. Anyways, let's listen to it a bit. And uh, I'm going to my tweed amp today, a 5E3 amp. And I'm going through this uh, cabinet with the Eminence Cannabis Rex, of course, a 12 inch. So this is the clean. I'm going to push my overdrive, the Sweet Honey Overdrive, a bit of uh, reverb from my El Cap stand, and I have a pre-recorded uh, loop. Thank you. 
and it stays in tune perfectly. I did my best to abuse the strings, but uh, it keeps the tuning very well. So yeah. <laughs> And I believe it's a very versatile guitar. You can play jazz or... I believe it can do some rock and roll as well. Oh, the pickups in the guitar, they are Burstbackers 1 and 2. I think they are great. I really like the tones from them, just to my taste. Let's have a look uh, to compare with my ES-335, just to see, is my 335? I think I can see that it's a bit uh, slimmer in the neck profile. And uh, maybe it's a bit wider. And... Uh, this is more rounder, like a fat C shape. If we have a look at the frets on the 335, they are, maybe they are a bit taller, a bit different, I think. So this really is a great guitar, but uh, I'm afraid that uh, it gets too little attention and love. So yeah, it will probably have to go. That's it for me today. Bye for now.